Hi, I'm Mars Expert and normally I post terraforming Mars content. But today I want to give you an introduction to one of my favorite games outside of PM and one of the most successful games of the last years, Ark Nova. Especially among PM fans, this game is very popular, for a good reason. It's very similar to it, but introduces some very interesting mechanics and in my opinion, a really cool theme. But let's get right to it. To start off the video, I'll give a very basic overview of the game's rules. After watching this, you will get the gist of what's going on, and I will also explain some stuff during the gameplay later on as well. But if you want an in-depth explanation of every last aspect of the game before watching your let's play, you should click on the link in the description, which will lead you to a video that will give you just that. Also, there's a timestamp on screen right now if you want to jump to the gameplay immediately. But let's get started. Ark Nova is a 2-4 player game in which you will build your own zoo, trying to attract as many visitors as possible, but at the same time working towards biodiversity and the protection of species. The game is organized in generations called breaks, and during these you take turns doing one of five actions. Whenever you take an action, its strength is determined by the spot it sits in when activated, and when you finish the action you have to move it down to the weakest spot again. So optimally, you want to use your actions whenever they are strongest, but that does not always line up perfectly. Additionally, you can upgrade some of your action cards during the game to make them stronger. But let's take a look at these actions. With the build action, you can build enclosures to house animals, kiosks to improve your income, and pavilions to boost the attractiveness of your zoo. Enclosures are split into standard enclosures and special ones that you can build only once. But what to do with these enclosures? Of course, you want to put animals in them, with the corresponding action. When using it, you can play animals out of your hand and flip the fitting enclosure that fulfills all requirements. Animals always increase the attractiveness of your zoo, which is comparable to the terraforming rating and terraforming mass, since both income and points are tied to this. In addition, they hold tags and can have requirements and bonus effects similar to the project cards in Terraforming Mars. Once you have flipped your animals action, you can not only play animals from your hand, but also out of your reputation range. What's that, you ask? Well, let's talk about your next action, cards. This action, when in the space form, lets you draw a card from the deck, or at strength 5, it lets you snap a card from the display. This display is also where you can see your reputation range, which is your position on this track right below it. If your card action is flipped, you can even move up until the end of the track and draw multiple cards out of your reputation range. But how to get more reputation? Well, one possibility is to do it with one of the association tasks. You can do these when using the corresponding action. You can either get two reputation, a partner zoo which counts as the respective tag and will also grant you a discount on all future tags, a partner university, which can allow you to keep more cards at the end of a generation, or get science tags and reputation. Or lastly, you can fund a conservation project, which are similar to milestones in terraforming mass, as they grant a lot of conservation points based on conditions that need to be reached before you can fund them. But they also grant bonuses when picked up. If you flip your association action card, you can also make donations to get cheap points whenever you take the association action. Another thing to consider when taking the action are your workers. You will need one every time you take this action, and you start the game with only one. So getting another one early could be really impactful. The last possible action to take is sponsors. It allows you to either play sponsor cards from your hand, or gain easy money when used. But be careful, whenever you take the money, or draw cards for that matter, you will advance the break token, which will move you closer towards the end of a generation. But how does the game of Ark Nova actually end? Well, I talked about conservation points and the attractiveness of your zoo. And yeah, you start the game with markers for both on opposite ends of the board, and once they cross for one player, the end game gets triggered, and everyone else can only take one more action. But beware, you can score a lot of points with endgame scoring and sponsor cards to pull off a surprise win. So these were the basics of Ark Nova in the shortest way possible. There are still a lot of small intricacies, but with this summary and my explanations during the let's play, you should understand the gist of what's going on 
and be able to decide whether this game is something for you. So let's hop right into the gameplay. All right, looks like the game has started. So let's see which maps we can pick, because every game starts off with you having the choice between two maps. This one here uh, allows you to, when you flip center enclosures, when you put animals in them, you get extra tickets. And this one, you can place uh, kiosks for free if you cover these spaces. Um, and kiosks help you, uh, help you with your income. Uh, I just played this map and we don't see the starting hand yet or um, any of the cards on display. So the decision is not really that strategic. The only thing you know are the base conservation projects. Um, and yeah, none of these zoos allow us to pick a partner zoos on the map. So they don't really work towards this one. I think I'll just go with this one because I haven't played it in a while. Uh, nah, let's go with this one. I like this one. Okay, let's see what we get. All right, so everyone gets eight cards to start off with. These are the eight cards that we could pick. And then we also get two uh, end game scoring cards. And during the course of the game, uh, we need to discard one of these. Uh, the favorite zoo is probably the easiest one to completely fulfill. I, you almost always get 15 reputations. Uh, I, um, you need to upgrade your cards action for that. And sometimes you don't want to do that, but normally I do. And then the favorite zoo is pretty easy to get. Let's see what we get here. Um, sadly, none of the base conservation projects is towards uh, herbivores because uh, we have two sponsor herbivores cards that will allow us to get that really quickly. Predators and reptiles. We have two reptiles, um, so we could take these. Um, these cards are quite weak, in my opinion. But I guess we're better than nothing. Um, we could start with the three enclosure here for the goats monitor, and then the one enclosure here, because we want to place them next to this. I need to be a little bit quicker about it. Uh, I don't like this one in this situation. This looks like a stretch. Your coffee stable is not really good. I think I'll go with experts in horrible wars and your coffee stable. And yeah, that's basically it, I guess. I like this. Yeah, let's, let's do it like this. Um, yeah, there's a turn timer, so gotta be a little bit quick about this. Uh, what we need the Euro partner zoo to play the common European adder. So I'll probably just start off with just picking that. And yeah, this this, uh, this animal has the requirement um, to get the Euro partner zoo. Um, so you need it, and then the Euro partner zoo automatically makes it free cheaper. And then this one um, doesn't have a requirement. Um, the only thing that you need to notice here is that this one fits in a one size enclosure, this one fits in a three size enclosure. So I guess I'll start off with building here. And just so you know, I'm in no way an expert. Let's, let's calculate this. If I build out down here, I get five bags. So building a three size enclosure only costs one. And then and building another three size enclosure here uh, costs uh, two. So that costs three in total. So we have 22 left and that's exactly enough to play these two. So I think I'll actually start by building my three size enclosure down there because then I can use my animals action to play both of these. And I immediately have um, both of these play it's much more efficient and I can start off next gen by immediately doing association and getting the reptile uh, conservation project. You always want to work towards these um, and get at least one really early on and we are aiming towards the, the reptiles one. So what did he do? 
I just built a two size enclosure and he's playing the zoo, uh, which allows you to ignore conditions. Uh, this zoo allows you to ignore one condition on an animal uh, that you play whenever you connect this spot here. But I actually don't like starting down here. I like starting up here and trying to grab the free university early on. That's really, really nice. And if you start down there, then working towards the university takes a long time. And in the early game, you normally the early game animals don't have that many uh, conditions anyways. So sponsors at five. Um, Normally, I'd love to play the Okapi stable, but actually, I think I'll go for the expert in Hervey Wars here. Um, that means the Okapi stable won't be triggered by the expert in Hervey Wars, but it's the other way around, and we get money instead of being able to play a sponsor. Uh, I'll explain that later after I played it, because I need to play a little bit faster. So the expert in Hervey Wars is a sponsor's card. I was able to play that with the sponsor action. And that one gives me three money back every time a uh, herbivore icon is played in any zoo, in my zoo or in his zoo. And uh, this will also get triggered by the Okapi stable, which is also a herbivore card. And this one actually lets you play a sponsor card from hand um, for money whenever a herbivore is, uh, is uh, whenever you play in a herbivore. Um, so they both trigger each other, but it depends on which one you play first, I guess. Um, but yeah, I decided I'd play it this way around because I can't actually play this one yet because it needs sponsor strength six. You only get I can reach that with an X token, or if you upgrade your sponsor card. Um, speaking about sponsors, I can draw cards now. And I could just get myself the expert in predators because at strength five, you can either snap a card or you can uh, draw three cards from the deck and then discard one. And the expert in predators should be really good here because there's a base conservation project predators. That means that I will probably play a few and he will also probably play a few. But of course, snapping one card instead of drawing three and then keeping two is weaker. And we will play two cards here. So if uh, maybe actually not, because this guy, oh, this is interesting. The break timer is at two out of nine. If I draw cards, it's at four out of nine. And this guy has the sponsors action at five. So he could break for five and then we, we would have to discard cards. And he picked up the uni that lets him keep five cards at hand. So I'll actually just take. It doesn't really matter if I discard the expert in Predators or the cards I draw from the deck. Um... Need to get the animals action up though. Let's let's actually build. We need to build anyways to get the the animal down. So let's build the one size enclosure up here. If he breaks now, we don't need to discard anything, and we have the cards action still up. Let's do that. Let's see if he um, uses sponsor section. He does. Does he break? If he doesn't break, then we're fine. Then we can play this. No, he doesn't break. Perfect. Okay. Place the herpetologist. That's annoying because I will play two. That's still basically the same as the expert in Harbor Wars and the expert in Predators. So when I play these two, he will actually get six cash. That's really annoying. But well, can't really do anything about that. We'll just. Um... We'll just draw cards now, and I think we're safe now. I think we'll draw three from the deck. And let's see what we get. Ooh, we get sponsorship elephants. That's quite nice. Get the thorny devil. I don't think we need we need another um don't think we need another 
uh, reptile. Normally don't like the kangaroo here, but it's a it's a herbivore. Works well together with the Okapi stable, the sponsors of uh, elephants, and the expert on herbivores. So I'll keep that. Discard the thorny devil. It's also a reptile, so it would give him 33 cash, and it's not really strong. Um, it's, it's really cheap, but it only gives, gives three tickets, so that's not, not that worth it to give him three, three cash with that. So let's see what he did. He played the Terpetologist, I already talked about that. He's building right now, you can always see, that there's a lock here on the side, you can always see what he's doing. And he's building right now, that's strength 4, so he can, he can only build a size 4 enclosure, and he did that. He placed it uh, right here, and you see all these places on the map, these are placement bonuses similar to terraforming Mars. Um, for example, if you place something here, you get 5 cash back. Already talked about that when I did that, and um, yeah, and these spots here you can only build on those if you upgrade your build action. Um, so you're yeah, a bit limited on the map at the start. Let's play our animals. Um, we play the European Edda first, and there's a reason why we do that. Um, it lets us hypnotize a player. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm a I'm a real idiot. I could have taken the, I should have taken the thorny devil and discarded this. He doesn't have five tickets yet, so let's restart my turn. <laughs> now he knows that I have that. That's really annoying. Let's play the sponsorship elephants first. This gives us three free cash and one ticket. Let's hope he plays an animal. I think he will. Because he just built two buildings, he has still a bit of cash left. Yeah, he plays an animal. That will give him enough tickets for what I want to do here. And the European Edda allows me to hypnotize him and use one of his action, that is either in slot one, two, or three. But only if he has more tickets than me. And there's another rule only if he's got at least five tickets. He didn't have that, so I couldn't hypnotize him. That's why I restarted the turn and played the sponsorship elephants first. I want to play this either way. It means um, I can't play it with uh, Okapi Stable, but it doesn't have an, a herbivore tag anyways. I could just uh, buy it with Okapi Stable. need to pick up another um, um, sponsor cards, uh, card to make this worth it now. Okay, he just played the Dusky Leaf Monkey. Okay, it's an Asia tag, so he's working towards the Asia Conservation Project. That's fine. Um, so now we play the European Edda first, and we hypnotize him. Gets three cash, that's pretty good for him. We hypnotize him first, we gain the map bonus, and we gain the tickets. And then we play the Goats Monitor. Confirm that. He gets another free cash, which is really annoying, but well, we uh, committed it. And we draw two now from the uh, discard pile, and we are allowed to keep one. And we got, get the freaking thorny devil back. Um, still better than this one. It's an herbivore, uh, herbivore, which is really nice um, for our combo here. But the problem is, you need to upgrade your animal's action to play this. <laughs> this will take a while. <laughs> so uh, we will keep the thorny devil. Uh, it's also really expensive. And I don't really like these digging cards. Um, normally I don't have enough um, on hand to make them worth it anyways. All right. Uh, so his actions that we can use are building uh, animals and association from this hypnotize ability. These two we can't actually use, we can't play an animal and we don't have a worker to association, so we have to build. And there's a clear winner what we want to build here. We could build a one size enclosure for the thorny devil. I actually kind of want to pouch the thorny devil with red kangaroo to get two tickets. Um, so I'll play the place at kiosk, which will give me two money income. We will coop immediately after one break. And yeah, that's quite nice. 
also now his building is below his animals, so he can't um, can't build before I play the animal. Uh, he snaps one card. Okay. If I had an X token now, which you can use to increase the strength of your um, your actions, then I could use sponsors and break for free, get free money and cost a break. But I can't do that right now. I also want to, don't want to draw cards. Uh, basically, you got everything I want. I will probably just move down the cards action to get an X token. And that's it. That's the alternative way you could do it. Instead of using an action, you can move it down to slot one. Don't use it, but you get an X token for it. And I don't really need the cards action right now. Uh, I want to start off next gen by associating, um, getting the reptiles conservation project, and then I can build to get my red kangaroo or my thorny devil down. I don't really know yet. And he actually break. So next round starts now. Perfect. All right. We start off, as I said, by supporting a conservation project, and we will support the reptiles one. And for me, it's always between, like, when you uh, support a conservation project, you can uh, grab bonuses, uh, one bonus for each conservation project you fund. And for me, it's always between either grabbing the, the extra worker, so you can do more association actions, or grabbing the uh, cash prod. But we already have quite good cash pot, 18 cash per round. So I'll probably just grab the worker here, especially because we started our gen um, with uh, the association action, so we are likely to do it again. And then we can upgrade a card, and I'll probably upgrade build here uh, because of that strength 5 for the next action. And I maybe want a one size enclosure or a four size enclosure for a kangaroo. So let's see. And yeah, that's basically it. So if we get more animal uh, animal tags down, then we can actually uh, increase our cash pot even more with sponsorship elephants. It's really nice. We can soon play the Yokapi stable. Play it down there. We can't play it up here. Could play it like this, but I don't want to block these spaces. Okay, we can build now. Mm, we only have 19 cash, so we're not go going to get this red kangaroo down anyways, this gen. Um, But we could prep for it, realistically. Could build like a four size enclosure here for the red kangaroo and a one size enclosure here for the thorny devil. Um, that costs 10 in total. Then we have nine left and we can still play the thorny devil if we want to. Problem is it gives him three cash. Is that even worth it? Probably not. Let's start off by building the four size enclosure for the kangaroo. We can also just not play an animal this gen, save a bit of cash. I always like to um, place my buildings next to this so that they only block one spot. And that means that uh, we can get four buildings next to it and get eight tickets um, for free. So we draw one from the deck. It's a padding zoo animal. All right, uh, I'll probably not place uh, one size enclosure. I'd rather place a pavilion. This gives one ticket immediately. And because it's a new building next to the kiosk, also the kiosk grants, it grants one more MC prod. I say MC, but it's not MC. <laughs> We're not in terrible problems. Okay, he grabbed the university. He grabbed this one. 
It's also a really good uh, play for the first gen, grabbing this one and then trying to get another two uh, reputation somewhere so that you can flip a card, get up to five uh, reputation really quickly. Mm. Problem with the Okapi stable right now, uh, we don't have a sponsor card that we could play with it. And that's kind of useless to play it right now. Although if we place it up here, we can move animals down one, add uh, down to one, and uh, we really need don't need animals up at five at the moment. So that would be kind of useful. And I mean, it's difficult. Maybe it was a mistake to move down um, the cards action last gen. Uh, wait, that's not what I want to do. I'll still play the Okapi stable here. Mm. If you think this was a mistake, let me know. Uh, I'm not... Ah, wait, if I place it here, I block a spot next to this. I don't, wanna, don't really want to do that. No, let's restart this turn. Could draw two from the deck with cards action if we increase the strength by one. Or we move down animals one. Or we break for money. I'll break for money. I need some cash anyways. And I won't do I won't really do anything this gen anymore because I'm really short on cash. So I think it's fine to break for money here. He just built a reptile house. Okay, let's talk about that. If you upgrade your build action, not only can you play place multiple enclosures, but you can also uh, build two more special enclosures, the aviatory and the reptile house, and they can house multiple animals. Um, the, the, the reptile house can house any reptile, the aviatory can house some of the birds, and you place cubes on the, on the reptile house slash aviatory then. And it's just really efficient to place your animals in there. So let's... Two things I want to do here in this gen. I want to get this uni, um, which allows me to keep five cards on hand. And I want to draw cards. To be safe around about this, I will grab the uni first, even though I need to spend an X token, because I don't want to discard cards here. Um, if I draw cards first, the break, uh, break marker goes up to 7 out of 9, and then he can just uh, draw cards or use his uh, sponsor's action to end the gen. And he did exactly that. So not only did we um, prevent having to discard cards, but we will also get our break token back by using our cards action next. next. Oh, the Meerkat then is a really good one. I really want to get that one, but I can't get it with this card's action, which is really annoying. Um, but we will still do the card's action and draw one from the deck. We drew some really nice cards here. We will definitely discard the Padding Zoo animal because we're not going for Padding Zoo animals. Okay, so we got another herbivore, which 
can share the enclosure with um, my red kangaroo. And we also got a breeding program, which is really, really good. It basically is a joker for these base conservation projects. So it counts as a tag of your choice for like either the predators or the Asia one, because these are the two that we have left. So my, what I want to do here is I want to somehow get this um, European bison. And I want to play that and I want to get the red kangaroo into the same enclosure and the red deer into the same enclosure because they both can um, move into the same enclosure with the European bison. These herbivores can sometimes do that, which is really nice. Um, problem, that is, that is probably too much. Probably I'll just play my, uh, use my animals action here to play the red kangaroo and the red deer into this one. And I pouch the thorny devil. That's probably just more realistic because animals is already up here. After that, I don't have any money left and the build build action of five one will be pretty useless. But well, that's probably still what I want to do here. Let's place this. Uh, uh, what we also could do... Wait a bit. Wait a moment. Build action, build action will be useless um, this gen. So what I actually will do is I'll move down the build, act, build action here. Yeah. I'll move down the build action to get one more axe. Then with the association action, I'll grab the European uh, the Australian partner zoo, which makes the red kangaroo cheaper. So I save. I will save two. Um, I will set three cash. And also I can flip my animals action card. So that will grant me one more reputation when I then use it to play these animals. And the reputation is really useful. So he started the turn by grabbing the double science uni. He already got all three unis, that's quite good. And then we got the spokesperson with it, got more reputation, that's really strong. And now he's playing uh, two reptiles. This, uh, this uh, herpetologist really paid off for him. But our um, expert in Herbie Wars will also pay off massively. Ha! Another plan change. I will use my two axes first and play the Okapi stable. Ah, no, actually no. I won't. Why not? I thought I could use the Okapi stable, trigger it with red kangaroo and red deer to play the breeding program. The thing is, um, well, when playing the Okapi stable, I can already play the uh, breeding program with the animal tech on there, uh, the, her the herbivore tech on there. So that's not really necessary. Let's do the, the animals action first. Uh, and play the red kangaroo. Get three more cash back from the um, expert in herbivores. Get our tickets, and now we can pouch up to two cards. I only want to pouch the thorny devil. The other cards are really useful that I have here. Get two more tickets from that. And then we will use the flocking ability of the steer. Get three cash back again. And we actually have some cash now. That's really nice. The, 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 the expert in purple was really useful. And the sponsorship elephants as well. Now we have three uh, Herbie War tags. So this grants us six cash brought. We get two more, uh, one from the Carpi stable, and then there's also the European bison I want to get, and the meerkat that I want to get. Then um, we get a nine cash pot. Mm. 
At that point, the cache block isn't that useful anymore, but every bit helps. You can play the Okapi stable now. Place it up here. Then we can move something down. Do we don't want to do that? No, not really. Let me play it down here as well. We could play it like this. That blocks like <laughs> everything down here. That's really not great. We can play it like this. That's actually better. Yeah, that's that's quite good. What did he grab? Takes the Tasmanian down. Pretty nice for pretty cheap animal for the present for this one. Uh, yeah, let's play the Okapi stable. Place the unique building. Place it down here. Ah, uh, damn. This is the version of reading program that requires to have two science tags. There's another version, the exact same card, but it requires two partner zoos. And I have two partner zoos, but not two science tags. That's really annoying. Let's see if we can somehow change that. Yeah, we can. We can draw a card first. And we snap the mere card then. I want to snap the meerkat. Meerkat then is so good. Gives us so much cash block. Yeah. Let's snap the meerkat then. And let's confirm. This means that we will likely not get the European bison. Um, because this gen, I doubt that we'll get cards up to five again. And yeah, it will be moved out of the row after this gen. All right, let's play the, the Okapi stable now. Place it down here. Get another X with it, which is useful. And we can now play the Meerkat then for, uh, with money. Get the free cash back right there. And we can place another unique building with this. We could place it down here, get another hat. Uh, if we place it up there, we could move building down. Do I want to do that? I think I want to move building down. Because I don't really know what to build yet. Um, I can't play another sponsor. I need to science text for that. And I can now move one action down or move building down. I have no animals in hand, so I don't know what to build. Um, that's why I move that down. And like this, we can actually maybe get the European Bison still, because now I can um, associate, grab one of these um, unis. Um, I, I already got this one. I can't uh, get the same one twice. So I'll take this one, which will also allow me to flip another action card. And afterwards, my card's action is at four. And I could snap a card. Do I really want it though? The, the row is really not made for it right now. Probably I don't want that anymore. I will just draw cards from the deck. Let's grab, grab this uni. Uh, let's gain two. And what do I want to upgrade here? Probably the cards action. It's quite bad to upgrade this last because that means that he can donate it quite a bit. And um, Get these conservation points before I can get them. 
But I have no cards on hand anymore. I need some cards. So I'm kind of tempted to upgrade this. I can upgrade twice. What am I talking about? I can upgrade from here and I can upgrade from the second building. So I can upgrade both. I'm a bit stupid. <laughs> All right. Turn works out great in the end. You can probably now fund a conservation project. Then you can fund the Red Pulse one soon, but he couldn't at that point. And he's he's able to donate here because he's already flipped the association action. That's it's a shame, but well. Let's draw. Actually, these predators look quite nice now because I need to get another conservation project going. Um, so we could go for these. But first we draw one from the deck. I don't want this European bison anymore. It doesn't help with any of the base conservation projects. And we already have one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We only have five items. Five is, yeah, five is enough for the highest. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we could trigger the Okapi stable with it and the Meerkat then, but it's quite expensive. And if there are no sponsor cards in the row, then I think it's not that worth it. I'd rather go for the, for the Predators now, but we should first draw one card from the deck. Maybe that will change our mind. Okay, that one is probably one that we will discard. I don't want to play such a weak animal just to um, give him free cash. Do I want the uh, European Bison or not? Because now I need to decide, can I draw from the deck or not? I'll draw from the deck. I don't want a European Bison. Ooh, another Reptile. I really don't need another Reptile, well, well. Let's get the Raccoon. And let's get the Dingo. The Dingo is actually quite weak. Only gives five tickets after the after I played the raccoon. But well, I guess that's it. Let's take it. And I must discard one, and I'll definitely discard this really weak reptile. Not weak time. Let's confirm. Okay, Savannah. That's also interesting. Um, there are certain. Um, conservation projects that allow you to release an animal where you just flip the enclosure to the unoccupied side again and uh, you lose all the tickets, the direct tickets that it gave you. So you would lose the three tickets that this dingo gives, but not the tickets that uh, the effect grants. Um, but uh, as an exchange, you get um, conservation points. And on this map, releasing animals is uh, actually really, really good because if you release animals that are in enclosures next to this one, you can flip these enclosures again and get the bonus tickets from the observation tower again. That's really useful. Um, do I want to break here? I could either build and prepare for next gen, or I could break. I think I'll break. Grants me another X, I get some cash. And I have 33 cash pro, so that's really nice. Every break again grants me so much money. Let's confirm here. Also, my build action is now at four, so I can place a one size enclosure, a uh, one size enclosure for the raccoon, a two size enclosure for the dingo, and then I can also place um kiosk or pavilion. Oh, these are two really good animals that I want to pick up for my west of going towards the predator uh, conservation project so you basically want to flip a bit it's like i went for herbivores first because i had this massive combo going um i went for reptiles at the start to get an early fund in uh, this project now i'm going for predators to get up to five here um 
He's still going for the reptiles, but that makes sense. He wants five reptiles so he can fund this conservation project at max strength. And he's almost there. So that's quite nice for him. Let's build. And as I said, uh, wait. We need to build the one size enclosure first, right here. As I said, I only want to occupy one space with every enclosure next to this building. Uh, no, not there. Oh, here. Yes. Now I need to decide do I want a kiosk, which would grant me three income here, or do I want a ticket from the pavilion? I think at this point, probably go for the. Oh, no, I'll go for the kiosk. Who knows how many breaks we will still have. Quite a few actually, probably. Let's confirm here. Next up, we will play our two um, Should I grab the uni here? I don't know. Damn, I'm missing one associate, uh, one reputation. If I had one more reputation, then this animal's action would give me one reputation. I would move up to spot seven. Then I could play the Caracal from my reputation range. And I would rather play the Caracal first instead of the Australian Dingo. But, well, that's just not how it works. Fairly this one. Hmm. I want both of these animals before I use this conversion project. Well, let's just start with playing these. Play the cocoon. Again, because of my map, it grants me two bonus tickets, which is really useful. And then we play the dingo. So it only grant me a few tickets in total. Yeah, it was actually quite nice. Two cheap animals. And we can now place association at one or five, but I think it's fine at five. We can grab a partner zoo and some rep. So we pass, we don't move it up or down. And we confirm here. Yeah, when an association action is flipped, you can actually do multiple association tasks, but you will need to use one worker for each one. Mm, yeah, that, that was would have been one uh, way to do it. I could have used my association action. Yeah, that was a mistake. I could have used my association action with one X uh, and then um, grab the partner zoo and the rep to go up one and play the Caracal out of reputation range instead of the dingo, because the dingo would have been better afterwards, but it's just a differential of one ticket. So I think it's fine. He can now uh, grab a card out of reputation range. I'm curious what he will pick up here. If he picks up one of these birds, that would be perfect, because that would mean that the lion and the color card move down. And after, the, after I get the rep, I could pick them up together with the savannah. Okay, never mind. He start, restarts his turn. What does it do? Doesn't fund Asia at four. He does it. Okay. <clears throat> what does he do instead? He does the exact same for now. Okay. Probably it was still the correct play for him. Uh, 
And he grabs the camera card. That's a bit annoying, but well, nothing I can do about that. Yeah, there's the breeding corporation, which I talked about. For this one, you need two partner zoos. Uh, as you see, as you can see, it does the exact same, it just has a little different picture on it. This one requires science tags, and this one requires partner zoos. So that's a bummer. Oh, well. Um, So it's all quite poorly played. I could also, if I had done that, what I did there, uh, hadn't done, if I hadn't played these animals, but grabbed the partner zoo and the rep first. Yeah, but then I would, yeah, I would, I would have gotten another worker. Then with the raccoon, I could have placed the association action at five, and then I could have prepped the Asia. I know I haven't played breeding program yet, so never mind that. Um, but I still do that. I grab the Asia partner zoo to get out. When I eventually get this down, uh, this will be enough for um, the lowest tier of Asia. And we take the two rep, this gives us another worker, which means we can actually use our action again. We have two more workers actually, which is nice. Do we want to donate for 10? It's quite expensive. What else do I want to do this gen? Probably not that much. So yeah, I think we can do it. He only has four cash left. He really needs another break because he can't really do anything with four cash. When he builds now, he can only build like a two size enclosure max. There's two empty four size enclosures though, but well, he can't place anything in there without cash. So he needs a break. Um, we can draw cards now. This tech institute is really nice, but not going for that one. I don't want to snap. I draw one from the deck first. Let's see. We hope for another predator. That's not a predator. That's an ape. Let's draw one more. That's almost a predator, I'd say, but not really. And then I think we take Savannah. And the lion, and we just hope that we get a predator soon. We have upgraded cards, so if some something comes up in the row, we can snap a three already. And we have to discard one now. I definitely won't play the, the reptile here. So we discard that. And let's confirm. There's another predator. Okay, we somehow need to get that one. But will he take it? It's very well possible. He takes a tech institute. As I said, that's an amazing card. But he could have taken that either way because his rep, his rep is higher than mine. By the way, I need to get my rep up. Mm. But he takes three from the deck. That means the hunter has actually in reputation range. Not the hunter, the jaguar. Which is really nice. Um, I'll sponsor for the lions next. I don't desperately need a break. Uh, I can still uh, grab another partner, a uni, and I have some other stuff to do. I have a bit more cash than him. So I can force him to uh, use the sponsor action for breaking and stuff. Let's play the sponsorship lions, give us two tickets and more income, which is really nice. Can confirm that. So what animal? Uh, what enclosures do we need? We need a two four size enclosures for the jaguar and the lion. And of course, we need to play the jaguar first. We can place a four size enclosure down here. We could also place a four size enclosure up here. But that like. Hmm. No, that's not good. Four size enclosure here would allow me to draw a card within reputation range, which would be the Jaguar here. But this also blocks like all buildings surrounded. Um, he takes a new partner zoo. I'll build. 
and I'll put the false and closure down here. Next up, we can grab, grab the uni. Does he break? No, he break that. He played uh, sponsors at four. What did you do before? He grabbed the partner. So, okay. Let's take the uni while we're there. We need the science sec to play breeding program anyways. And yeah. After that we will draw cards. If we grab the partner zoo there, we would have gotten up to two. Um and we would have gotten the last partner zoo for us, and we would have gotten two CP, which would have allowed us to get here and get a bonus on this track. Um, oh yeah, I think drawing three cards here isn't that useful, and the five cash we can get that later as well. I like my position here. He has a bit more CP than us, but we have way more tickets and way better income, so we can do more during during the gen. And he didn't grab the jaguar, which is really nice. Um, that means we will grab it now. Moves the break token up to uh, break marker up to eight. Draw one from the deck. Science Museum. I'm really glad I just uh, cut that from him because he's got six, six science sex. He could have played that. And draw one more from the deck. Yeah, we don't need any of these other than the Jaguar. Oh, no, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Um, it's not a hard rule. And then we draw the Jaguar, of course, and we can discard this ape. Well, we're really not going for apes. And that's basically it. Yeah, that's it. He will probably break now. Oh, the veterinarian is also a really good card. Allows you to fund association projects at four instead of five. So I would love that. Um, also gives you a conservation point at the end if you have all three unis, which we both have, and gives you instant money for unis that you have, and we both have three. So it would give us um, 10 cash for each of us. He didn't break. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Why wouldn't he break there? What did he play? Water playground. I don't really rest is necessary to play that right now. He also hasn't placed it yet. Only spot where he can place it is here. Because it needs to be next to water tiles and you can only place building next to your already existing buildings. So the only spot he can place it is here. After this gen, we need to discard one, and I think I'll discard the Science Museum. I could play it if I get the Veterinarian. Okay, he places it there. Does he actually confirm? Let's go. Love to get the Veterinarian down. If I snap the Veterinarian, I need to use two X tokens for that. Then I have seven cards and need to discard two. Uh, I could discard... I could discard this one. I could also play it to grab the veterinarian. I won't, I won't that do that. I won't want to do that. I think I'll just break here with more cash. Of playing the breeding program, we can do that next gen still. 
Ja. So we need to start the gen with grabbing the America's partner zoo. Uh, we need that to play the Jaguar and the Muscox. Do we want to discard the Science Museum? I think so. There's a high risk that he will grab this veterinary because it's so good for both of us. And then I just can't play this card. Um, so the other cards on hand are much more useful. I need to build a four size enclosure um, to house the muskox or the lion, and then I can play both. I'll probably play the lion first so that I can fund the conservation project. I don't, I actually don't need the partner zoo. I have uh, an America symbol already. Of course, it would make it cheaper, but by building and then playing animals association will be at five. And then I can immediately grab the predator um, thingy. Yeah, I like that more. And we'll build here. Do I want to use one X to place a pavilion here? It's probably worth it. Because the next build action will be another four size enclosure. Probably here for the muskox. No, I, no, I don't I don't, I don't I won't do it. Let's calculate. We need four we need 16 to build two four size enclosures, so we have 32 left. These both cost 32 together. So we wouldn't have any cash left for the muskox anyway. Only if we get the veterinarian, which would be amazing. And he starts the turn with an animal's action. He plays the saltwater crocodile. Now he can snap two cards. And I bet your ass he's snapping the veterinarian. Such a good card here. He grabbed the European grass snake. Well, I guess he's going for her. We were still uh, for, for reptiles still. He already has seven. Jesus Christ. And what else? Better than there as I said. It's just too good. You can't pass it up in this situation. When he plays it, he will get 10 cash. He will get one a conservation point at the end of the game and he's able to fund conservation project as well that's just amazing way too good all right and he already also played the european grass snake another reptile. eight reptiles already this herpetologist made him played that before he played his first so he got full value out of his eight and full value of one of my two. But this sponsor card made him 30 cash. Think about that. That's just crazy. All right, let's build another four size enclosure. And that's it. Next up, we animals and we play the Jaguar and the lion. Afterwards, we sponsor and finally get down our breeding program, and then we can uh, associate and take the Predators conservation project. Afterwards, we'll try to get up association as fast as possible again to get uh, down Savannah. How many do we need for conservation zoo? Three, four, five, six. We will have one, two, maybe three, and then four from this. So only two points from that. Favorite zoo, sadly, we're also not that far up yet, but
but we will get one more with the animals action and we will get one more when we play savannah and then i guess we will also pay some access to to this action as well yeah none of uh And if we, if we were to play the mascots, we could actually use Okapi Stable to play a play breeding program. And that would save us an action. But not really. We need to get the sponsors done at some point anyways. He just played the second special enclosure, the large bird aviary. That's this one down here. Does he actually have any birds that can fit in there? He doesn't. Not yet, anyways, but maybe he will have some. And all right, let's do animals and play the Jaguar in here. Get eight tickets from it, it's really nice. And then we can also look at four cards from the deck and keep one animal card from there. Do we have everything we need for this? Yeah, we do. Then I guess it's this one. This is a really strong animal. Um, it gives you two conservation points in the rep, uh, also 10 tickets. Has quite a few requirements, especially the bear one is quite hard. But we have a bear, we have an Asia um, partner zoo, and we have Kirby Wars, of course. So this one is actually a really good card for us. Also only needs a three size enclosure. Can fit down here. And we play our second animal, which will be the lion up here. So this will give us nine tickets on, in and of itself, and then another four from the ability. Already at 66 tickets. That's really nice. And let's confirm that. Next up, reading program. We need to pay an X for that, but we can manage. It will get us five conservation points and get us up to here so we can grab two more bonuses here which is nice he just found that reptiles at five so we need this card now one of our end game scoring cards but i'm quite sure we can at least get up to 12 with a favorite zoo and i don't see myself funding five conservation projects with conservation zoo quite difficult we only have two for now like only one for now, but two after we fund uh, Predators. But getting, like, he could do it with a uh, Veterinarian, which he hasn't played yet. But for us, it's hard to get up to five all the time. Association action. <coughs> I need to discard one. Discard the conservation zoo. Keep the favorite zoo. And he can donate now if he wants to, and he will. Means he's quite low on money, but I think he can manage. We will now fund Paritas. Ah, wait, no, we won't. I forgot, we need to play breeding program first. All right, let's confirm that. We're still at zero out of nine, which is nice. Um, so the, the, the gen can go on for a little bit longer and I will get some cash here in a bit. So normally the five cash that we get here, are not that great, but much rather get the other bonuses. But I don't think I need more cards here. And I also don't really know about the Supplier token. Need to think about that. And I need to think about that right now because that's what I can do now. Uh, what do I want here? There's my next bonus. Could take three axes. 12 cash sounds great. 12 cash would allow me to play the Muskox.
Can I fit five more kiosks into my zoo? I don't think so. One here, one down there, that's four. And then the other one would be up here, but that will be blocked by the four size employee. Okay, no. So then expert on the Americas isn't that great. <clears throat> so I was thinking about like picking that up with the site enclosure. Can I try to end the game? Probably not. We get five, so we go up to here. Then we get another five. One, two, three, four, five. So we also lose tickets. No. So we won't end the game this gen. And that means I'll probably take the cash now. Take the access with my next association action. We get 12 cash and then we take 5 cash here because I don't need cards. I have quite a good, quite a few good cards here. And do we want to multiply? If we get 5 cash, we have 30, which is enough to place a 3 side enclosure and play Giant Panda. Uh, But then we play her we were without having a sponsor card that we can play. Geologist isn't that great. It gives us one, uh, one CP at the end of the game. That's all. If we do the multiplier token, what could we do? Could draw a million cards, could build twice and prepare for both animals. We could break twice, get some cash. I don't think we need cash, we have enough. I think I'll take the cash and do the giant panda play anyways. Do we want to donate 12 and finish? No, we want the cash to play this. Okay, so we pass. Don't donate here. We could go. Does he break for six? No, he plays the veterinarian. And he has strength left. Didn't he increase the strength? No, okay, he didn't. I, I didn't see that right. Uh, these cards in this row are great. Um, do I want to draw cards now? Do I want to build first? I think I'll build. Okay, I, I found a... No, I didn't find, find a way around it then. Okay. I'll build here. Grants me a card out of the row. Take the Geologist. That's at least one point at the end of the game. Export on Americas doesn't do anything. We are cards. So just this one. And we need 24 for this. Uh, we just pass here, I think. Oh, let's just build the pavilion. Why not? Ticket. Okay. So we now have a sponsor's card on hand, but we don't have enough money to play it after we play Giant Panda. That's a bit sad, mm, but well, our sponsor's action is at three anyways. So yeah. He's still going on, Jesus. This guy, isn't he running out of money? Doesn't seem like a... All right, let's draw cards. I really want to do animals at strength five to get more rep. 
um, you only get the reputation when you're at strength 5. But I also don't want to use an X. I want to use the axis for my association action. So I'll do drawing cards here. And I don't think anything in my reputation range is of any interest here. Um, I could play the pick me hot pot. No, I can't. Uh, maybe I grab an America uh, an Africa zoo. Let's draw one card. Okay, that's okay. Draw another one. That's good. Draw another one. So do I want the pick me hippopotamus? Yeah, let's draw it. Why not? Come on. And now I need to discard one. Do I have any? Yeah, I can discard aquatic. Don't have any water symbols. Drawing this guided school to us actually was insane. It's a sponsor card for three and actually a good one. Um, Actually missing one animal um, tag for the last for the, for the point that friends. <clears throat> but um, still it grants one point immediately and one ticket. So we can play giant panda. And we have three cash left and we can with um, Oklahoma stable uh, play the guided school to us. That's quite nice. Next up, I'll uh, use animals. I'll play a giant panda, it's guided school tours, and then I'll probably use association with one X and find a conservation project. Great, right. let's play the giant panda. I also get money back because it's a hurry war. I'm such an idiot. I was talking about how I couldn't play this here, but look at all the stuff I can get here. Nice. Got a good hurry war combo going. More conservation points. This is up to 89 already. Another X, really nice. Two more tickets. And now we play the guided school tours. Gets us up to whatever. Let's see, 95 already. I can't play another animal, obviously, so let's pass. And I think I can end this game with the next association. Actually, We're at 95 points. Um, we have almost crossed. Our tickets are here. Um, if I just do Savannah um, and release the Jaguar, that's probably best. So that's... Yeah, it gives us one more rep. The rep doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does. Three axes. We can not only do this, but we can also do this. So we get three more rep. Then move up. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let's let's see what he does. Um, animals plays Tasmanian Devil. That's it. Yeah, he has nearly no catch left, so we can end the game now. We do association at strength seven. Um, we have three workers. We need to send two to conservation um, project because we have already done that. We do Savannah in the first slot and release the Jaguar because it grants one less ticket in the line, so we lose one less ticket. Um, we can also, no, we can't play this from hand because we don't have enough cash to do it. So it doesn't really matter what we do then. I guess we just build a free two sided enclosure. Whatever. Really doesn't matter. Uh, we release it from this. 
bit closer. We gain one rep, which is nice. Draw one card from the deck, that doesn't matter. Get this from the rep track. We gain the five conservation coins. And we place this freaking enclosure. Gain the X. And then as a second action, because we spent three axes and has had seven strength, we can do this. Get two more rep, get that's one point, one X, and we also max out the rep. So that means we get full points from favorite zoom. And now we end up with 105 points. I can't do one, I can't do any action anymore. He can do. He has one action left now after I ended the, the game. Um, but I, I doubt he can catch up, especially because I get um, full points from my uh, endgame scoring card. I won't get one point from guided school tours. I obviously won't get one from breeding program. I only support a three. Do I have six herbal attacks? Yeah. So I will get one CP from Meerkat then. And that's it. So I will just get one from this and then four from favorites. It should be enough. That's that's a lot of points. Um, so basically, how, how are the points calculated? It's the tickets plus the number that's in here. Um, so 33 plus 72 is 105 points. If I get three more, um, well, no, five more, from, four from the endgame scoring card and one from the Meerkat then, I go up to one, two, three, four, five to this one. So it's 48 plus 72. Uh, that's 113, which should be enough to win this, right? What is he doing? He... Just is at strength four. It's also already calculated. Okay, we won. Nice. He scored 95 points, so he didn't cross it, uh, cross himself. But um, it's not a bad score. He got really close to 100 points, which is the threshold for crossing. But yeah, 120 points is probably quite nice for me. Um, um, as I said in the beginning, um, I'm not in expert in Arc Nova yet. So if you watch this game and thought, what an idiot, he did this and that wrong in that situation, please let me know in the comments. I, I'm really looking uh, for some advice in Arc Nova. I'm playing a lot with Manson Roy from the Terrifying Masters Court. He's really good at Arc Nova and is giving me tips all the time. He's also winning all the time with me, so that works. And I'm also um, chatting with guys on the Hodgepodge Discord, I think. There are a few um, good players on there that uh, play a lot of Arc Nova. Um, I, I don't know if there's an Arc Nova Discord out there. If anyone knows one, please let me know. I know there's a really small subreddit, but there's only like 300 people in there. It's not really that active. Um, but yeah, if you're good at Arc Nova and you want to play with me or you just want to give me some tips or roast me, whatever, let me know in the comments. I really hope you appreciated this video. I really enjoy Arc Nova at the, at the moment. I probably at the moment played more than Terraform Mass. Of course, it will never replace TM for me. TM is my favorite game of all time, but Arc Nova is great as well. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Also follow me on Twitch. I stream uh, Terraform Mass there all the time. And I'll probably also uh, stream a bit of Arc Nova in the future. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you there or in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.